What's up guys, I'm Zane and today I'm going to show you how to download font files from Adobe Fonts. Now first thing you should do is to simply open Creative Cloud on your PC and in order to get this application you should go to Adobe website and subscribe to any one of their plans in order to get the Creative Cloud. So you need to pay for the program. And now once you open this page, you will be into the home right here. And now we have to go to the right side and search for Adobe fonts right here. So click on Adobe fonts. Then after that, we'll show you here this page. Go on the top right corner and click on browse more fonts. And here there will be a wide variety of different fonts. You can download any font that you want. And actually, this is not only one font. Every one of these things is not only one font, but it is a family. So here in the card of every font, you can see how many fonts does this family have so you have here 12 fonts here we have 20 fonts and you can actually go and click on any fonts that you want and you can simply scroll down and see exactly the number of fonts how exactly do they look so now I think this font is very good to download so now I'm gonna download it and here you have many options to download this font and as I said, this is actually not one font. This is a group of fonts or a family. They call it on Adobe. So a family consists of many fonts, as you can see. Now, if you want to add all of these fonts, you have to click on add family right here. And if you want to add just one of them, you can click on add font beside any font that you want. But here in my case, I will try to add the whole family. And here on the top of every font, you will find exactly the name of the font. So this is Ataholapa Thin Italic. I don't know actually its name, but I think this is the name. You have the medium italic and so on. And you can also adjust the text size by using this slide right here. And you can also see other recommendations and about the font, the licensing details and so on. You can actually scroll like this in order to see more pictures about the font. And you can also try to use some samples and text. So I'm going to use this one here, for example, in order to see all of the alphabet letters. How do they look? Now, if I want to add them, I will click on add family. Now, once you click on add family, it will show you this message. You have to click on OK. Then what you should do right now is to simply head to your Adobe Creative. Then I'm going to go back to Adobe Fonts and go to added fonts right here. And as you can see, I have all of these fonts. If you want to install them, you can simply click on install family if you want to install them all at once. Or you can simply click on any one of these icons right here if you want to install just one font of them. So I'm going to click on install family. And by this way, it will also install it for any non Adobe programs. So you can use it on Excel, Word, or even in your Windows on Notepad or anything like that. So now I'm going to click on got it. And now we have to make sure that all of these fonts are added. So I'm going to open Adobe Photoshop, for example. Then I'm going to search for the name of the fonts right here. And now I have opened my Adobe Photoshop program. Then I'm going to choose the text. Then I will type anything right here in English. But first you should search for the font right here. So I'm going to type ATA. And now here, as you can see, you have all the fonts added. And I'm going to choose this one. And actually it looks well and it doesn't have any problems as you can see and that's all for today if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support us with like subscribe comment share and see you in a new video